Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. This is the Bro Road here with you once again for even more MVW. Now we're in the middle of our particularly hardcore May event in year three. We started off, uh, we stumbled a little bit at the beginning, but yeah, we picked it up. We're picking it up. Roster's getting used to, you know, this month of weapons and barbed wire and landmines and chaos and insanity and so on and so forth. So, keeping things rolling, we got the Beacon Club and we got the Nintendo World Order. Two teams that are, well, they kind of need to win. So, hmm, what the hell? We'll put it in a situation where one team has got to win somehow. <laughs> At least somebody could get the taste of victory. Right? Right? Beacon Knights and the Nintendo Lights go at it. This match starts off in fighting fashion. Give up. Donkey Kong immediately goes for Boston Crab. Not even 30 seconds into the matchup. Monkey Man don't get paid by the hour, huh? Oh. I believe that was Link that hit the barbed wire first. Norris feeling that party groove. It's her turn to go for a submission. The hooks are in on that modified Texas Cloverleaf. Link gets out of it. Throw a few boots to face and double drop. Nice smashing maneuver from Donkey Kong on Nora. Meanwhile, Link's delivering the chops. Or with a bow and arrow. Action going on. Throw it a DET on Link. And a fist drop. Meanwhile, Nora with a straight up deadlift on Donkey Kong. Give up. Oh, Nora hits the wire. And a backbreaker. Hard Larry on Nora from Donkey Kong. And Link and Crow are trading blows. Crow gets the final say in it. And now Donkey Kong Nora trade, or, trading hits. The hits just keep on coming. Nintendo seem to be on top of things right now, but how long will that last? At the five minute mark here. Crow saves Nora from a devastating power bomb. But gets caught in an airplane spin. Beacon Club hits the 3D. Nice drop came from Crow. Crow hits the hangover! Is Donkey Kong out of it? No, he ain't. Link eats wire again. This time Nora's in the airplane spin. But she's not ready to hurl yet. Nora stumbles into a DDT, though. Crow gets totally eliminated. Is this it? Nope. Nora puts the hooks in on that uh, on that submission. I'm surprised Donkey Kong's not helping her. Helping him. The explosion rings out like thunder as Donkey Kong hits a landmine. It is now bleeding. Meanwhile, Crow's over here just pummeling away, away at poor Link. Nor 
more hits the mother effing boop. She's got more boops than Chris Statlander, folks. Link with the DDT. Yes. Again, Donkey Kong gets hit with the hangover, but he immediately gets right back off. Donkey Kong ain't Nintendo's hardest hitter for nothing. And, a, and Donkey Kong eats a third hangover. What is Link doing? He's Instead of helping his partner, he's too focused on Nora. That's the thing about tornado tag team action sometimes. You gotta, you gotta have to be a real good judge of when exactly to help your partner and when exactly to you know, still focus on, on the opponent you're fighting. Magic killer on Crow. Donkey Kong again hits the plant mine. But Link, Link's definitely showing that he can handle himself in the ring. Nor with that deadlift. And again, she does not miss leg day. She doesn't miss arm day either. Mother effing boom! This time on Donkey Kong! Will this be it? Yes it is! Smart strategy to immediately pin Donkey Kong concerning the amount of finishers he ate this matchup. With that victory, Beacon Club, you know, they at least got to start on uh, realigning themselves and getting back in the right track of things. Nintendo World Order, though, they're working on it. They still got uh, Zelda's upcoming match against Wendy Koopa a little bit later. But, but uh, speaking of Koopas, before all that, though, we got Sarah Moon for Ziggy Koopa. Let's see if uh, at least one scout can uh, get the victory around here this month. Five. And the two immediately square off. Sarah Moon gets the first shot and with a kick to the leg. Another kick. Iggy went ice suplex though. More kicks from Sarah Moon. At this rate, Sarah Moon's got more kicks than Route 66. Mm. Shot from Koopa. Yet yeah, another kick from Moon. Oh! Not only was she countered, she hit the landmine and is already bleeding. Poor Sarah Moon. But she knows. She knows she's on the she knows she's on the job right now. She can go bandage up later. She knows the fight's not over. She still has a chance to win. She still getting her kicks in. Hey, there's a counterattack of her own. Go, Sarah Moon, go! Oh man, not like that. I didn't mean it for any barbed wire. <laughs> Drop kick to the back of the head. Oh, nice inverted tombstone on the chair. On the chair. Oh, DET on the chair. Nice payback, Iggy. Snap suplex. Nice escape with Sarah Moon. She's got to capitalize on this. Two exchange attacks. 
Iggy's claws help get, help him get the advantage. Drops the knees. And Sarah Moon just lets the fist go flying wild. And again. Yeah, Iggy just ties her entire yeah, body up with that submit in a, in a very unique submission. Nice hop over from Iggy. But it's gonna take more but it's gonna take more for more than that for it. Boy, I got tongue tied there. Oh a backslide. Will this do it? Nope. Backslides rarely work. <laughs> but as I was saying, though, One, it's definitely going to take more than feeling froggy for this uh, humanoid turtle to get the victory here. Solid Falcon Arrow. A defiant slap across the face. If I did no way better with that slap, I'd say that uh, Iggy might have either said something or suddenly grabbed something. I don't know. Dad. You know what I mean. <laughs> Dad. Mm -hmm. Well, Iggy's bringing the claws out as if Sarah Moon isn't, isn't already bleeding. Sarah Moon's feeling particularly punchy today. Again with that, again with that tying up the whole body submission. The arms are, the arms are strangled. The, the head's isolated. And ceremony to wire again, using that Koopa magic, leaving her wide open for a big boot. Nice boot, Sarah Moon. These boots are made for kicking. Iggy with a backslide. Will this do it? Nope. Iggy eats the wire. Iggy hits the Falcon Arrow. Picks her back up. More claws to the face, followed by a rolling kick. Again, he goes for that. But it's a rope break. Iggy hits the landmine. Now you know how it feels, Koopa. And Iggy is bleeding. Mm -hmm. They're both bleeding. He goes for the Eddie Guerrero special, but why in this matchup? Why is Bill Lane thinking about buying it? This is a hardcore match. In for a tombstone. Doing running drop kick. Knocks the turtle right on, on, his, on the back of his shell. Moon just cramps him face first in that board of barbed wire. Sends him careening into the other side. Iggy's the one that uh, Iggy's the one that started this whole feud in the first place. Will Sarah Moon be the one to take a step forward toward ending it? Grapple from behind. Iggy gets out of it. Sarah Moon with that slap though, and again with that Give submission. Up. Up. Is Moon ready to quit? Give up. I don't think so. A backslide. Two. Two point nine. That match almost ended with a backslide. Of all things. Drop kick from Sarah Moon. Stomping for added effect. That's rolling. That's rolling against the Gary there. Two. Three. And that did it. Sarah Moon nabs the victory in a valiant matchup here tonight.
She can feel good about herself as, he che as she checks it into, into the infirmary. percent that's actually pretty good pretty good solid matchup two seem to be kind of evenly matched Sarah Moon gets the win helping her team out but next up if these two's individual histories are anything recently or anything to go by this is gonna be brutal this is gonna be one hell of a brutal match Ember's getting, Ember's getting a knockout or two. He's really making a knockout statement as of late. So, battle the knockouts. A very dangerous situation. Five. Ember's first shot goes wild. He gets the first shot, shot in. Nice bad drop from Ember. Ember's the first one to eat fluorescent light tube, though. And is busted open. Already, Ember McLean is a little behind in this matchup. Can she pull ahead? She managed to outdo Tyrion. Can she outdo this maniac? Conversely, will Hiei's recent knockout ways continue? Lee decided to say, eh, F it, and hit the hardest last of the Dark Dragon ever. Ember with the mount. Just raining fist down upon him. Both competitors are kind of wary at the moment, but he gets in that deep headlock. Spine on the pine from Ember. Let's <laughs> fly, poke. Surya. Surya. Ember wins the exchange, grabs a kendo sword, gets a jab in. The yeah. black handle and a kamagoye. Nice neck breaker though from Ember. Yeah! Arm breaker kick to the face. Sorry. And a dragon screw. Kotaro Crusher. Five minutes gone. Ember grabs the Kendall sword again, but it's made to drop. Yeah. Spinning wheel kick to the to the face by EA. But Ember with the mount, he reverses, counter mounts. Give up. Straight up Give knee up. shots to the head. <laughs> For a minute, there was some actual wrestling going on. <laughs> Elbows to the face. Ember stays. Boot to the back of the head. Ember is in trouble in the early parts of this matchup. And she make a comeback. Here we go. Last of the Dark Dragon. It's not a knockout, but can she kick out? 2.9. Ember is behind the proverbial eight ball. And it's barreling down our quick. Like that boulder in Indiana Jones. Oh, not this gag again. EA, I thought you were... Okay. <laughs> Running European uppercut. Okay, yeah, you're learning. <laughs> Ember goes down south. Spinning power bomb. Keeps it in for a pin. Only a two. He goes for it again. He's looking to end it. Two. And no. Not quite yet. Spinning heel kick to the face, remember. One. Only one. I think that shows how how behind the eight ball Ember is at the moment. Boot to the face, but not before he eats some uh, 
eat some rest of my bowl. Neck breaker out. Come on, AI, what are you doing? I think the AI was trying to have Ember climb the top rope, but uh, as you can see, that's not possible. Crusher. I think he's looking for no, he's looking for a big boo instead. So what misses? Kid goes wild. He ain't with the martial arts expertise. And again. Ember's had enough. Breaks his face. Two exchange attacks. Ends a Gary connects. Ember grabs a light tube, jabs him with it. The testicular claw. Well, he ain't give up. Not quite yet. And again, displaying that martial arts knowledge. Everybody was kung fu fight. Oh no! Last of the dark dragon. This has got to be it. And it is. Who around here is going to put Hiei in this place? Another AA percent. Okay. <laughs> well, at least it's not like 68 or something. But, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, check out average card rating. Also 88 right now. <laughs> 88, 88, 88. It's all eights, man. But, moving on, we got our second to last match of this show. We got Princess Zelda. We got Wendy Koopa. We got some more Nintendo Super Smash Bros. action, it looks like. <laughs> Who's gonna walk out the winner? Five. Ah. Zelda gets the first shot in with Electric. Wendy's not having that. She goes for a plain choke. She's pissed off. Zelda hits a chop and a punch. And an art shop. And brings out the claws. Zelda with a body slam. Not even a one though. Nice take down from Wendy. When he hits a when he hits a four, man. Shots a misses. Test of strength. It's a draw. Zelda hits a chop. Give up. And a chin lock. Wendy with the body slam. And just rain down fists. Test of strength. Zelda gets a pair of knees in. Not even one. Both competitors are showing that they uh, they better get this fight over over with. And looking around the ring, I can see why. <laughs> Nobody wants to eat barbed wire. <laughs> uh, Wendy with the unnecessary roughness. And they're trading clubbing blows. Wendy chops Zelda down and again with the unnecessary roughness. Zelda with a series of European uppercuts drops a running elbow. Irish whip. 
Wendy ducks while it's coming. Slap to the face. Zelda eats the wire. Get Zelda up. puts Wendy in the Boston Crab. Uh, in the rare case of Botchamania, they both oh. eat wire. <laughs> uh, Wendy, how many times do you got to go down there? Wendy eats wire. But ducks the running European overcut. Wendy picks up the kendo sword. Again, Koopa magic misses. That barbed wire doesn't. This time, Zelda's the one breaking the face. One, two. Zelda kicks out right at two. Running elbow drop. Figure four leg Give lock. Up. Give up. Will the only Lady Koopa tap? Nope. One, Flying cross body. Well, that's only a two. Zelda demonstrating those lethal kicks. And those lethal chops. And oh, go hold a slam. Whoa. Wendy with a surprise roll up. Only a two. Ah. Uh, come on, Wendy. Wendy with a sledgehammer blow to the back. Shote connects. So the hits. Come on. Ouch. She's up. She's over. Come on. And again. One, two. That looked like it was gonna be three. Crowd's loving this fight, though. Zelda ducks the flying crossbody from sheer exhaustion. Blood gets choked. Wendy doesn't like being embarrassed. Come on. She's up. She's over. She hits the balcony arrow. One, two, three. Goodbye, Wendy Koopa. Here comes Princess Zelda. Nintendo World Order has is, is got something going for it. Pretty solid matchup, too. Kind of fast paced. Kind of furious. Yeah. Now we got the main event of the evening. <laughs> I believe it's been some time since these two particular combatants fought each other. But, the way I figured it, about time for a rematch anyway. So here we go. Landmine Deathmatch. Kiryu, our heavyweight champion, in a non title matchup against Yusuke Urameshi. Five. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening. Kiryu immediately gets the first shot in with a takedown. There's a punch. And some more punches. And a back fist. And it's ain't down. Yusuke's the first to eat wire. Yusuke gets a shot in and a leg sweep. A rock bottom. Not even two minutes into the matchup, but we're already seeing a rock bottom. Hmm? Q 
Kiryu is not taking it easy here tonight, folks. Can, uh... can, can the Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion make a comeback at this rate? Spin kick connects. Kiri punch it, and Kiri gets punched down and hit with a sledgehammer by the. <coughs> pardon me, felt that cough coming on. From Yusuke, who then follows up with an arm ringer kick to the face. But Kiri gets an STO. One, two. Only a two. Yusuke eats the wire. Nice capture suplex. And Yusuke is bleeding already. Not surprising after two shots of barbed wire. Take two of these and call me in the morning. Verbal suplex connects. Kiryu's got a piece of table. Jabs Yusuke with it. Nice fancy footwork from Yusuke. He's got to do... Oh, I was going to say, he's, he's got to follow up on that big time if he wants to... Maintains some equal footing around here, but Kiryu still maintain control of this matchup. And Yusuke eats a landmine, big time. What can our junior heavyweight tag team champion do? Rock bottom. Single leg of drop kick, right to the face. One, two. Only a two count. Considering, he, considering the recent months of temper, I kind of wonder if he is going to be fuming in the back that he, Yusuke might be making his team look kind of stupid right now. <laughs> the way uh, Kiryu's taking, you know, taking quite the lead here. Yusuke's not done. He's fighting back. Step up axe kick. Oh, well, Yusuke had the sledgehammer. Oh, he's got the sledgehammer. Well, are you going to use a sledgehammer or not, dude? <laughs> Step up, axe kick. Yusuke ducks the attack. Backslide, but that's into the, well into the ropes. Our rare kick once again. Kiryu's got the sledgehammer. And takes, and takes Yusuke downtown with it. He's just going to town with that sledgehammer. Oh, STO right on the sledgehammer. Yusuke is not going to have a good few nights of sleep. One, two. Yusuke almost had a come from behind victory with that one. Spinning heel kick connects. footwork, but you gotta do more with it. And he does. It's up. It's over. It's a stunner. And he goes for the pinfall. Two. Two. Not quite yet. And Kiryu falls like a mighty red whip to that shot. Again. And again, Yusuke eats barbed wire. Shota connects. Man, at this rate, our infirmary is going to be. Oh, man, with that submission, with that arm bar, that's it. That's it. Kiryu demonstrates why he is our current World Heavyweight Champion. Good try on Yusuke's part, but. Well, he ain't the dragon at Dojima for nothing. And with that, our May event concludes. And it looks like a solid rating, 87. 
crowd seemed to have went home happy. So let's see how we did. Yeah, not exactly flawless, but hey, hey, if the people liked it, that's all that counts, right? Some profit, yeah, yeah. What, no tournaments, no nothing, huh? Okay, and we go on to June. Wait a minute. Wait a wait a minute. First of all. First of all. They really gotta get their translator here to fit to fix these typos in, in an update or something. Second of all, back to business. Minoru Suzuki's done. What? Ah. Oh. Wait, but we had a new one, right? Oh come on! our own company party. Yeah. We shall party. We shall party hard. Yeah. Yeah. Let's party, y'all. Yeah. Chill. <laughs> but alright then, let's see here. <clears throat> Back to business. How's everybody doing? Hmm. Tyrion's healing, but he's still kind of damaged. Everybody's still in decent health. Hmm. Cammy's next, almost better. He goes, oh, poor Iggy. <laughs> Wendy started starting to show signs of uh, damage. I think we're doing a good job here. Oh, wait a minute, consultation. Yeah, I just remember something. Let's get the, let's get the rest of these Koopas pay up and pay up to match the others. be around the same around the same field anyway. That's a good place to start with it for this month's business. Nora Alright, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Do it. Nora gets a raise, so does Crow. Wait a minute. Six thousand, right. Hmm. Anything else? Stevens. There. Ember. Uh, 
All right, double your pay. There we go. We all good. Let's see. Ya. Send out the scouts. Get more merch. Whoa. Damn it. It's not what I want. There. Snacky snacks. Now, we save. Because you know what it's time for. Finding somebody new. Hey, we reached A popularity in Japan. Yeah, we're climbing. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, Batman goes to WWE. <laughs> okay. Superman is AEW. Oh wow, there's a f there's a rivalry. I guess you could say there's an injustice right there. Eh. Oh yeah, that was right. A couple, couple few episodes ago, it was. It was Daniel Bryan that got hired by NXT. Wow, Deathstroke three belts? Damn. Wow, Voorhees. You found yourself a nice place, huh? <laughs> Jax with a DFW. <laughs> cool. Neat. Neat. And here we go. Back here. If only the scouts could find more people. Come on, guys. Who to get? Who to get? Like I said before, if any of you have any suggestions out there as far as if you see any interesting names on this list, fictional characters only, then uh, drop you know drop your drop who you want in the you know comments. Take into into consideration. But for now, let's see. I think I will go with. I feel like some Titans action. <laughs> Starfire! They're not interested in this. <laughs> Throw the book. Dang it, Star. Huh? You know what this means? Save scumming! <laughs> Load data. Oh, never mind that then. Maybe another time. Hmm. Mr. Stock, Mr. Stock, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Let's get somebody new here.
Kill the road. Damn it. <laughs> and we try again. Let's throw the book at him this time. Alright, Iron Man. We got a variety of people. We got super villains. We got superheroes now. We got video game heroes. We got anime heroes. We got... We got movie villains. We got... We got indie game... He we got indie game heroes. We got. Yeah, video game villains. Got a nice variety of people, yeah. Alright then, well. I think aside from a uh, couple gym upgrades I might do, uh, and of course booking the next event, I'm I'm gonna be set for this episode. So next episode, next event will be will be set up. We'll be ready to go. And well, well that's that. We'll be ready to go. So uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. You know the deal. Hoping I might get some fans soon. Maybe one of these days. What am I, like, almost 50 videos in? Well, like I said before, I'm having fun with this, and that's kind of what counts, right? But, uh, yeah, hopefully if anybody watches this, that they like what I'm doing. So, uh, with that being said, catch you all later.